Hello and welcome back everyone to Space Simulation Toolkit. The last few times we've been looking at the biology pieces of this, but the game is a lot more than just those little simulated organisms. It's also got full on physics simulation, like the powder toy. So we're gonna be playing around with that today. As you can see here, I've got some dirt and put some stone down. Why does it say Valor.gg? Well, the developer of the game actually joined Valor, which is awesome. You all should uh, go go check out Valor and talk to him. You can suggest features and stuff, I guess. Uh, but I'm super excited to have him on board. I think that this game has a huge amount of potential being on the GPU and just, God, look, look at the simulation. Look at all the dots. Look at that. Oh, they're freezing. Oh, they're freezing. They're getting cold and freezing. I guess that's because there's literally no energy in this world. So let's go. Oh, look, it's like solidifying. Oh, that's so cool. Look, it's connecting as the water freezes. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's really cool. I love that. Um, what if I like set, put some fire? Oh, oh yeah. The fire very quickly melts everything. Okay. I mean, I could have expected that. There's also lava. What if I drop lava onto the ice? Ooh, look at that state change. Look, the the water actually gets quite hot and I think it becomes a gas. I think we have steam flying around now. Gravity. Wee! Gravity is now down. We'll put it like down here, I guess. So things fall downward. Very cool. All right, so now I should be able to actually pour water into the U. Yay! Very nice. This is so crazy. Just the the beauty of this simulation is just, mm, mm. It's just crazy to think that there's this many particles interacting. And it's all just happening on my GPU. All right, so let's see. There's metal. So maybe I can like put this U into a jump. Oh, the metal is actually being, oh look, the metal's being pulled, oh! What? Wait, did it actually break the rock when it fell? Are you serious? Wait a second, what? The No way the physics are that good. No way, when it collides, oh my God, what? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is so many layers cooler than I originally thought. So metal's strong, so it's gonna flex a little bit, but it's not ripping, it's not tearing at the seams. Oh my God, this is literally insane. I cannot believe this guy actually made this. Okay, let's try dropping a giant rock on it from far away. If we build a big old stone, can I pause the game? No. Probably can, I just don't know the button. All right, we're gonna build a really big like asteroid and have it hit this metal and see what happens. It's actually getting ripped apart by the gravity. As it falls, it hits the metal and it rips it apart. Oh, oh my God. But it's still, it has like pieces that survive. This is absolutely insane. Like you guys do not understand. Maybe you do, maybe you do understand how insane this is, but like this level of simulation is, is someone please give this man a million dollars. I wanna see what he'll do with it. Buy this game now. We need to give this guy more money so that he can fund the development of this because this is crazy. So okay. this really dense bit of metal, which is just gonna hit this rock. Is it just gonna rip through it? Is it gonna just realistically like, Oh, did you see that? It actually made a little bit of sand and it bounced straight off. Okay, so that wasn't enough. It was too small of a piece of metal, but look at how it's rolling. Look at the physics. The slight deformation of the stone compared to the, oh my God. Oh man, okay, okay. Slightly larger metal ball here. By slightly larger, I mean quite a bit larger. We gotta give it some actual force. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I wonder if I can accelerate this. I could probably put more gravity, but like I need to learn the tools in this game. If I could like fling it, that would be really cool. Now, there's this move where I wonder if I can, I don't know how to increase the size of, oh, it's shift. Can I throw it? No. Well, it kind of holds, 
it kind of moves in the direction I threw it in, but not really. I do know there's a way to repel though. Is it this one? No, that's, that's drag. This is repel, I think. Oh, no, that's like explode. Yeah, so that, that will explode whatever you hit with it, which kind of ruins what I was just doing. Um, well, I guess the chunks are still gonna impact. Oh, do you see how that broke? Oh my God, the cracking. It's the cracking for me. Look at how that just, sh oh my. Oh. Guys, 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 you gotta see how this is cool, right? I'm really hoping that you guys can see how awesome this is. Just the level of... This is something I've just never seen done at this scale. Like, I've seen like little, little things that try to do this, but the fact that it's so fast and natural... Okay, okay. Giant ball of metal falling into this. If only I knew how to accelerate. Like, I guess I could just add more gravity, just like a second gravity. Now it should get pulled in twice as fast, right? Let's just add three. Lots of gravity. There we go. Okay, so this is now getting accelerated. I, I think I can actually change, like, the gravitational constant in the simulation as well. Um, but that's fine. No worries. P for pause, maybe? No. T for time? No. <laughs> I really have to learn more of this game. The developer's probably watching this and is like, Dude! There's tools for the- I- I know. I know. I'm figuring it out, okay? I'm, I'm currently being just absolutely mesmerized by these physics. Alright. Oh! Look at that! Look at how it crushed in and made this all into sand at the very- Oh my god. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. This gets me so excited. All right, so we, we've seen we've seen some of the possibilities here. Um, there's air, which is just like fluffy. That's interesting. The air connected to what did I make here? What is this material I just made with air? Is it just like connected air because I turned the stone into air? Yeah, it's solid air. What do you look at that? It didn't break the bonds between the molecules. It is insane that you can have this many particles without lag. Like, absolutely ludicrous. Okay, uh, turn this back to stone. Oh, it's all broken apart. Got little, little sections here. How do I delete? I feel like there's gotta be a delete button. Action, temperature. Oh. Oh. Oh! No! Look at it! Oh, magnum core. Oh, and all of the, all of the, like, pulverized stone just fell in so quickly. All right, let's, yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Give me that molten goop. I love me some molten goop. The air, I can make the air very hot too. Oh, this is awesome! Yeah, I, I could. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I, how do I uh, delete? The sun. Does this let out light? Doesn't seem to do anything, really. Interesting. Interesting. Did I accidentally pause the game? Nothing seems to be moving. Oh no, it is moving, just very slowly. All right, let's go ahead and drop a, uh, a giant rock into this magma and see what happens. Giant rock, giant rock. It's getting ripped apart by the gravity as it moves. This is so insane. Look at the cracks. They're just so realistic. It just looks so good. Oh, okay. Ready? It's going to impact in three, two, one. But it's going to draw a bunch of the heat out. 
Oh! Look! Look at that! Yo, it ripped it in half! And now it's melting it, it's tearing it. But the the core is losing heat from this. It's losing it to the stone. And some of it's just turning back into stone. It's mixing, it's mashing. Oh, look at how it flows. Look at how it flows. It literally, it looks exactly like how I would expect lava to flow. Like this looks like the sort of simulations that NASA has, except it's running on my graphics card. It looks so good. Half of the planet has now solidified. Half of it is still liquid. There's like this boundary here where it's getting just cool enough and it's slowly converting. It's slowly becoming stone. Here it goes. Oh, man. It's birthing a planet. It's literally birthing a planet out of this. All this stone is coming out of the magma as it... The... I... I... I cannot overstate how happy this is making me watching this. This is literally insane. Look at the little bit of magma still flying out, but now it's solidifying. We've got this molten core. It's so good. It's so realistic. Like in most games, I have to like, I have to really carefully do things to get these results. But like in this game, it just acts how the physics should. Even like the, look at how it's like shimmering. It's moving. There's so much energy in the core. Do you see this? Do you see it slowly pushing out? Like, this is literally how a volcano works. It's- do you- do you see that? Look- look at the pressure literally pushing and cracking through the stone. I could literally watch this for hours. Do you see this? Look at it go! It's so realistic! What on earth? How? How is this, how does this work? How, 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 how can I add more pressure to the center here? I guess if I add more heat. Man, this, this is, this is literally making my year. 2024 is starting so strong. So strong. Okay, what's that? Where is the heat? Uh, action, physics, heat. Here we go. Here we go, so we're gonna just put some heat in the center again. It contracts a tiny bit. We got a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of heat coming out of the center now. I think I made it contract, so maybe it's gonna suck back in. I kind of wanted to do the opposite. How do I increase pressure? I can increase pressure by adding more. So like I can add more lava probably to increase the pressure. I can just pump it in here. Pump it in here. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, you see that? You see how it went a little bit further? Oh, if you hold down shift, it deletes. Okay, well, learned, learned that. Okay, so now I know how to delete. Oh, there we go, there's a lot of new lava. The issue is it replaces it replaces if you click on something that already exists. So how can I just inject it? How can I just inject it? Oh, you know what I can do? I can put some lava over here and then I can use the move tool and just move it in. Did that work? I thought that would work. There's probably a way to do this, and I'm just dumb. So there's magnet and gravity. I wonder if I go to, like, the select tool, if I can grab the gravity node and just kill it. Yeah! Reducing the gravity will definitely increase. Oh, there we go! There we go! 
now that the gravity isn't holding it in as tightly here let's delete this one too yes there we go oh my god this volcano is actually about to ru wait it's just sand it's not even lava. This is just sand that's getting forced out. It's like a sand volcano. Yo! Not even intended. Okay, let's heat up this sand until it becomes more. Okay. All right. I want I want a real volcano. Okay, I may have just melted the entire thing. This is going to be more than a volcano. This is literally going to just engulf the entire thing in flame it was it was it was going well it was going so well and then i got i got impatient sorry guys sorry it's it's all melting oh, it was so cool how it was like pushing through and now i've ruined it i've ruined it i i want to create like so the issue is if I if I invert the gravity, the entire thing will just explode, and that's not really what I want. I want there to be like pressure inside pushing it out. I wonder if I put water in, if it would make steam and do kind of what I want it to do. Like that's a good way to introduce pressure. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It's working. It's working. That's how I can introduce pressure. Good old steam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to erupt. She's going to erupt. The pressure. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it's igniting the atmosphere. Holy oh, now it's all pouring out. All of that heat energy all came out and now it's all solidifying. Wow. Oh, did you see that? That was intense. All right, let's go ahead over here and create the same situation. We're just going to add water, add water, add water. Let it become steam. Create all of that pressure. The pressure is pushing against the side. The pressure is pushing against the side of the stone. It's melting. Oh, but it's running out of heat. Is it going to be? Able to... No, there it's going to go. It's going to be another eruption. Whoosh. That is so satisfying. I cannot even describe how satisfying that is to watch and play with. Look at the lava just... Oh, man. Oh. Guys, 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 guys. We're going to have a lot of fun with this game, but... That's gonna be it for now, so leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, join Valor if you want to talk to me and the developer of this game. I'm sure he has a lot of stuff that he can teach you and me. I have a lot to learn. And like, guys, you gotta buy this game. I'm sorry, I'm usually not one to be like, you have to buy this game. But Space Simulation Toolkit. Granted, you need an NVIDIA card for it to work flawlessly. He's working on support for other cards, so your mileage may vary if you have something else. And if you have like integrated graphics, it's probably not going to be able to handle this. But if you have a computer with a capable card, I mean, you've already seen what it can do. So let, let, this, let this speak to you. And if you don't have a computer that can handle it, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see me do, because I can be your computer. I can fulfill your, your desires and do whatever you want me to do in this game. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you all next time. Peace out and goodbye.